Hey, what's up? This is Josh Highland, and I just installed iPhone OS 4 on my iPhone 3GS, and I want to show it to you right now. So, here we go. It's got an ugly uh, splash screen wallpaper. It looks like it's got water drops and things like that, but you can't change this and the timeouts real quick on it. So, let's uh, slide this and unlock it. And, uh, you know, here's all my apps slide those sideways. It's got a, that nice white background on it. It really makes some of the icons uh, stand off. It's different than having the black background that we had in the previous versions of the iPhone OS. Um, one of the things that I really noticed right off the bat is just the pure speed of things. Just opening things like Safari. Um, let's go through you know some of the things here. Um, here's a photo of one of my friends, some of my friends. But uh, this stuff's really fast. And one of the cool things is the multitasking feature. So, I don't know if you saw that. You can double tap and it pulls up the last four. Now, they call this multitasking. I don't really think of it as multitasking. It's more like task switching. So, it's more like Alt Tab or uh, Apple Tab, something like that. So, you can easily just jump through your text messages and uh, things like that. So, like I said, the speed's really quick. I mean, look, the Facebook app is already up. Um, really easy to to do all sorts of things, you know, get a game going like a sweet game like Plants vs. Zombies, uh, you know, say you're playing the game and uh, you have a text message or something like that that comes in or, or you want to switch out and do something else, that's where you do that double tap and it comes up, pauses your game, and then you can just jump back to say Facebook, and then Facebook's right back where you left it. So, uh, you know, I don't know what it's doing if it's keeping it memory. So here's an example, you got a text message right here. And uh, I want to reply to it, so I'll go ahead and hit reply. And then, you know, I'll send my reply, whatever. And then I want to jump back to my game or Facebook. I jump right back to it. So I don't have to go back to the home screen every time to switch between my favorite apps and uh, see what I'm doing. So a single tap will still bring you to the home screen. Um, there's been a few apps that I've found that just don't work with uh, with the new update. For example, my favorite Twitter client, Echo Phone. So clicking that, it'll just bring it up and it should just crash. So there's a few of those, like Foursquare. I was really bummed about Foursquare. Cause Foursquare is a sweet application. There's a, it's a big social network, but there it is. It just crashes again. So there's a few of those. I'm sure those will get worked out um, with the kinks. I'm really excited about the gaming center that Apple has. Um, if you didn't hear about that, it's going to be like Xbox Live or something along those lines. So I haven't really played with this yet, and you can see it's all kind of wonky. Like the the create new new account is down off the screen, and you know it's just weird. But overall, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. The speed is amazing. Uh, you can't really change some of the questions I got about this when I tweeted about it earlier. Is can you change the background? And can you change that wallpaper? So you know it's pretty blank. I want to change it. So opening up like my photo app here's an example this this I usually have this as my uh, as my background it's Jesus holding a dinosaur I love it so here I'll say I want to use it as a wallpaper and I'm gonna go ahead and move and scale it where I want it to be right, like there that's good and I want to set that and I said I'm gonna set that as the lock screen so setting wallpaper it says it set it uh, let's see if it actually did it back on come on I don't know if you can see that or not but it didn't set it it didn't do anything so the same goes with the wallpaper for the desktop you can't change that so let's see here I haven't really uh, tried any of the organization folders that they talked about let's see if I can figure out how to do that now I think you might have to do that through iTunes because I'm not seeing a way to do that right now yeah nothing special I did notice that the iPod seems to open up a lot faster, but there's a lag when you go to play audio, it seems like. So, I don't know. Overall, it's really cool. There's a lot of neat stuff that's in the settings that I haven't really screwed around with. A lot of those, or if you're a power user with a lot of different Outlook accounts or something along those lines, you can see there's a, there's a few different settings you can do on that. And then when you go to the mail itself, it, the mail setup is different. You can unify your inboxes. I'm hoping this comes out well on the video. But it's one of those things you just got to play with. So there's some new icons for, say, calculator and things like that. But overall, nothing too, 
too groundbreaking. We'll have to see what apps really take advantage of this. Um, and the coolest thing, is, again, is that task switcher. You can see those last four things that I was that I was working with before. But some of my favorite apps don't work now, so that sucks. But, you know, it's just a learning curve that developers will get over. Like, for example, Hootsuite, which is an awesome Twitter client also. It's just going to fail. Yeah, there it goes. So, same with the GoDaddy app and the Dig uh, application. But, you know, th those are cool. But while I have you here and you've watched this video, I'll show you a sneak peek of my new application that's coming out. It's called VegScan. And, uh, you know, it's going to help the vegetarians. It's a social network for vegetarians. It's going to be pretty sweet when it comes out. So be on the lookout for that. Till then, you can check me at twitter.com slash Josh Highland. And you can also check out joshhighland.com. This has been my first experience hands-on with the iPhone OS 4. Hope you enjoyed it.